Namaskaram to one and all. I offer my sincere thanks uh, for inviting me to talk about this great Mahavidwan Sri Ramnad Krishnan. It is such a great honor and such a great uh, blessing to reminisce his music and the the colossal contribution that he has made to Carnatic music. In our family, my grandfather Sri R. K. Venkatrama Shastri, my uncles Sri R. K. Narayan Swami, R. K. Ramanathan and Sri R. K. Sri Kantan, and my uncles, um, the Rutrapatnam brothers, all of us in the family have had great regard and great uh, love for his music. In fact, my uncles, uh, the Rudrapatnam brothers, uh, my grandfather uh, always encouraged them to listen to uh, Sri Ramnath Krishna's music, and they all they have always considered him as his as their Manasika guru, and and their music reflects uh, a lot of Sri Krishna's. Uh, music. The enjoyment that his music has always given me and the whole of the music uh, community 
is simply amazing and stupendous. Every line or every swara or every anuswara that he sang was replete with, with the beautiful nuances that this great art form uh, showcases. At no point of time, at no point in his music, he did he sacrifice the Carnatic element or the integrity to Carnatic music that, that was reflected in his beautiful way of singing is, is so very important and so very, we have to draw so much from that. His, his sharira, his voice was always aligned to the Thambura Shruti and it is so, it is such a great honor that I have the Thambura that he used in his concerts and uh, when you listen to him sing, every raga, every phrase of every raga, every anuswara of every raga was soaked in Shruti. The pristine Shruti Shuddha that with which he sang any jet speed birka or any gamaka laden sangadi or any jaru or any line for that matter it was soaked in shruti it was it was in at every every note was in its beautiful place and the that really enhances and brings out the beauty of the art form and the greatness of the artist the the, the basic essentials were all extremely so beautiful shruti shuddha laya shuddha bhava shuddha and the uh, those are the three most important uh, essentials of carnatic music whatever he sang was in perfect shruti perfect laya and perfect bhava like shankara bharana or kalyani or kambhoji or ragas like begada sahana garbar or beautiful small smaller ragas such as purnashajjam phalamanjari the, the concept of raga that, that he sang, the, the concept that the raga was showcased in every uh, be it alapana, be it the kriti, be it the naraval, be it the swara, the raga was never sacrificed. Be it even in when he sang a korvai or when he sang a mathematical pattern, the raga was never sacrificed. And the manner in which he, he, sing, he sang the phrases of the ragas, the manner in which he, he he even conceived of the phrasings of all uh, uh, of each raga is is simply stupendous. In, in Kambhoji, for example, uh, he would sing a phrase something like. Pada Padasa in Kambhoji. I have not come across many Vidwans sing. I uh, sing this phrase in, in an alapana like this. So so it was it was an alapana that was replete with intellectualism. At the same time, it was couched in aesthetic beauty, and it was at any point of time the raga was always um, kept up in its pristine form.
the manner in which he absorbed the elements uh, the absorbed the music of two diametrically opposite uh, uh, aesthetic fields aesthetic banis one is g n sir's bani and one is brindamas bani seem uh, apparently both of them seem very diametrically opposite but i think ramnad krishnan sir amalgamated he absorbed the best of uh, both the banis and when he sang the uh, birkas or when he sang the the super fast phrases everything was so crystal clear and cre- every was so beautifully uh, 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 immersed in shruti and immersed in the raga <laughs> at the same time he imbibed and absorbed the beauty the the rasa or the the aesthetic the uh, the sheen of the dhanamma family and uh, the his his penchant his love for uh, the dhanamma school was very obvious in his music and so that added an extra sheen to his music and it it was not a carbon copy or of uh, both the banis it was ramnad krishnan's uh, bani by itself and his music he made it his own rama the raga begda is just synonymous with ramana krishna and uh, the, it's all raga uh, all raga saso but especially begda the way he the 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 manner in which he sang begda was is completely so beautiful and he incorporated so many beautiful phrasings of so many uh, compositions and he presented the raga lapana with his own uh, intuitive intelligence and and uh, beautiful comprehension of the raga
Certain phrasings when he, when he sang uh, in, in, in Kritis, for example, in Shankarini, which was is one of one of his favorite compositions, I guess. That 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 phrase would be perfectly fit into the Kala Pramana of the Tala, and it would be sung so beautifully and so very aesthetically. Uh, so perfectly placed into the Kala Pramana. In Sahana, especially, uh, he he incorporated certain archaic phrasings of the raga, and uh, it's it's from uh, Sri Ramnath Krishnan. I've heard this beautiful phrase in Sahana, which he used to sing in the alapana very frequently. That is one phrase. The, he, he, would, he would beautifully, seamlessly incorporate that that beautiful phrasing from the Sahana Padam. That 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 would appear in the Raga Alapana so beautifully. Le 
can be handled in with multiple uh, vocalizations uh, for example you can sing a phrase uh, in the very same sahana ta ta na 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 ra but when it when it is being sung like how shri ramana krishna said na la na it 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 used to it used to be uh, showcase more grace and more beauty and more uh, the nuance was more uh, explicit and the care with with which he he sang every phrase and every anuswara is simply amazing Is a scale, uh, I think, which came 
completely to life with Sri Ramad Krishna. Tana Tana Parama Pavan. The other composition that he used to sing in Palamanjari uh, was the was Palukota Che, and uh, the manner in which he sang the raga with these two just these two comp- compositions in mind is simply mind blowing and it is it takes it it needs so much just not intelligence it needs a complete experience to experience the raga it needs uh, uh, such uh, internalization such uh, such amount of passion and internalization to present a raga like this so phalamanjari he, he used to sing as easily as he would sing a sahana or a begada and uh, for uh, it, it is so difficult to even comprehend because phalamanjari can always lead you to kannada or some other raga but the way he 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 used to differentiate phalamanjari from a kannada was so beautiful ave na 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 compositions such as mummurthulu such as narada guru swami ki such as uh, 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 sanatana paramapavana so many he brought he brought forth so many rare compositions to the concert platform and swarams every beat beat kulkalam or the highest mel kalam the raga was never sacrificed ra samu that sadani pamaro samu to even comprehend to singing swaram for that place is so beautiful ha pare sadhi sada sa sa sadhi sadhi sadani pamaro samu sadani pamaro these are all these are all moments of sheer beauty that uh, which came which which which, which were i think natural came so naturally and so intuitively so beautifully to uh, shri ramnath krishnan
very very special bond uh, with shri ramana krishnan uh, in fact uh, i i <laughs> in the light of vein i told uh, shri ramana and sir that our password of the house was ramana krishnan so our music was defined by ramanadism in the, the house uh, uh, this, this this beautiful word ramanadism was coined by my dear friend kr subramanian who plays the flute and the disciple of ramani sir who was a great uh, who is a great fan of uh, ramana krishna sir like uh, he used to adopt kind of symmetrical phrasing in for example in madhyamavati to work uh complementing symmetrical phrases of the raga so he, he, in in most of his raga alapanas you will find these kind of la 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 re la la re say the kind of the same uh, uh symmetrical phrasings uh with, between uh, two regions so this is a very beautiful uh, Uh, technique that he adopted when he when he sang uh, raga lapana <laughs> sang the beautiful virtams the the virtam sing virtam singing is something which brings out the complete uh, emotional content of the music and the lyric together and uh, um, he sang beautiful virtams one such famous virtam is uh, raka chandra samana kanti vadana and uh, the 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 banner in which he adopted uh longer phrases for the dirghakshara uh, for the longer uh, vowels ra ra ka chandra samana ka anti vadana ana ma samana kanti vadana so ಸುದ ha 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 
ya he regresado. Llegada la vida. Every aspiring musician uh, has to listen more of his music and imbibe and absorb from his sensitivity, from his uh, integrity to Carnatic music, from his uh, idea of beauty, of aesthetics and that pristine value of Carnatic music.